How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new iRoot Routines video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. We're jumping straight into it. Tonight we're going to have the guaranteed Team of the Season Latin America at MLS pack and the guaranteed Team of the Season League Unpack. So I'm looking forward to both of them coming out. I'm hoping to get something good now. If you guys want to quickly have a look at my team, I'm going to give you a very slight flex. This is what the Untradeable 11 is looking like right now. There'll be a video on Friday of that Mbappe. That's all I'm saying. So let me know what you're hoping to get and what you get in the comments down below with the guaranteed TOTS packs, both of them really. I am hoping to get a Para and either Renato Sanchez or Kenny Lala. So we'll see what we get from those. Anyway, first team coming from Greg, who says I've got hundred, I've got 350k and I'm willing to save up. Everyone's untradeable except for Mbappe, Griezmann and Robertson. And the second is what I play in game. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Um... It's an interesting team. I don't rate normal Griezmann this year. I think at this stage of the game, he's absolutely unusable in my opinion. Um, there's just too many team of the season and team of the year defenders to go up against. I just don't think it's possible to use a normal Griezmann anymore and get a good amount of use out of him. Um, looking at the team and, and, and who you can get, realistically... As long as you get a full chem on that centre mid, Mbappe is going to be on 8 chem whether he gets that orange link or not to Griezmann. He's going to, he's going to be at 8 chem regardless. Um, so really thinking about plays you can get in terms of cams, it's kind of difficult because there's not that many amazing Barcelona cams. There's Messi, uh, his central cards, um, and then there's Griezmann, and that's about it. Uh, you could play Vidal on 8 chemistry and get yourself a Spaniard. You could go with, for example, like a top Santi Gazzola. Um, he'd be on 8 chem as well, though, but he get the strong link from uh, Guardiola. Um, what else could you do? I mean, you can go, you can change the team up a little bit. You can go with like a Frankie de Jong and then at right centre mid, you can go with, uh, instead of getting Guardiola, you can go with somebody else down there. Maybe a Premier League cam. Maybe go with, for example, uh, in middle centre mid, go with the 87 Frankie de Jong or, or even a better version if you can save up towards getting him. And then at right centre mid, you go with the likes of uh, a an inform Firmino for example, that could work. Or you play Mane at left mid on seven chemistry there. Um, or like an informed Mane. I don't know how much informed central Mane is these days, actually. You might even be able to afford him. Um, the Is it the, the 89 version? The striker? This came out right at the start of the game. He was so much for so long. 139k. There you go. Your team is sorted. So in the middle, go with the best version of De Jong you can afford. Um, I think the, it's going to be the 87 probably because the difference between the 87 and the 94 is just too much. Yeah, it's going to have to be the 87 until you can afford that 94. So go with the 87 De Jong in the middle. He'll get the uh, the link over here to uh, Vidal. Um, and he'll obviously get the the orange link over here to Van Dijk. He'll get the orange link to, to Maldini as well, putting Van Dijk on full chemistry. Um, and then go and get that that informed Mane and play him over here instead of Guardiola. And then in game, you're playing De Jong and Vidal as your two CDMs. And then your cams are going to be Mane and, and Salah. And then your striker is going to be Barnes and uh, Mbappe up top. Um, but the rest of the team is solid. Obviously, just saving up towards getting a better left back would be a decent shout. Maybe going with a winter refresh Van Anholt might work as well. Um, in fact, looking at this Van Anholt, I guarantee it's probably pretty cheap right now. Yeah, 70k for this card. I think it's a big upgrade from the normal Robertson. That might work as well, to be fair. Um, but yeah, no, the, I mean, the rest of the team, you've got solid plays. For example, Cancelo is pretty solid. I never have rated goalkeepers off chem, but someone reminded me the other day that a goalkeeper on eight chemistry gets the exact same base stats as what they usually have. So it won't make a huge difference. I just feel like you get a lot of mistakes out of goalkeepers on eight chemistry, but that's just my opinion. And you guys, a lot of you guys seem to disagree with that. So I'm going to start recommending every single time playing a goalkeeper on 10 chem because clearly it's not always um, agreed with. Um, the next team coming from Corey, who says, this is my team. The second picture is in game. I'm going to bring Alwa, but I don't know how many coins I'll have left. Everyone's untradeable apart from Carlos and Neymar, Andre, Mariano and Alwa when I get him. Got you. Okay. Um... Well, this is actually a really interesting team, and I like the the way that Neymar sort of links up to the league and uh, up top force. I would hold off on Alwa personally until probably tomorrow after rewards. Um, you never know. From the guarantee pack tonight, you might pack Alwa. You might get him in rewards tomorrow, and providing you don't get him in rewards or the guaranteed pack, straight after rewards drop, when everyone gets their premium tots packs and their ultimate tots packs and stuff like that, um, he's likely to drop for the first sort of hour after rewards. So I'd probably pick him up uh, just after rewards tomorrow morning if you're around. Um, and then you'll uh, probably get it for a little bit cheaper than usual. And uh, and if you don't get him in rewards, that is. Because there is a slight chance you could. Um, with the rest of this team, though, 
I would say not a bad shout would be maybe looking to save up towards getting the team of the season, Renato Sanchez. I don't actually know how much he is these days, but I think he's dropped, like, he's lower than I expected. Like, oh, that's Renato Augusto. Brilliant. That's the one I wanted. Uh, he's lower than I was expecting when I first saw him. Yeah, 500k for this card. I was surprised it's not 900k or 800k, personally. Looks incredible. Um, but this card looks really, really good as a CDM. And I think in this sort of setup would work really, really well. Um, because he's just, he just looks incredible, man. I, this card looks insane. If I pack him, I'll be using him 100%. He looks absolutely nuts. Um, but the rest of the team is sick. That Visca card, unbelievable card. Really, really good. Really, really good. Um, the next team coming from 20 times, who says, I have 150k to upgrade my team at the minute. Should I get, who should I get next? Sorry. Uh, ooh, okay. I like this. This is cool. Uh, one thing I will say though, you're better off playing Bergwin at right mid. And then Dan James at left mid and just swapping over, swapping over Fred and uh, Lucas. Now, the reason that being is Fred uh, at left mid would usually... Uh, sorry, Fred at left mid. What am I talking about? Um, Bergwin at left mid with the with the strong link and two dead links. Unfortunately, as he doesn't get a perfect link, um, he's actually on uh, way less chem. Oh, wait, no. I'm stupid. Never mind. It works out the same. For some reason, I thought... I, I don't know why. And I think I had a bit of a blip. That was a glitch in my brain right there. I thought Dan James was Brazilian. And I was like, he's getting a perfect... He's not. Never mind. Uh, it doesn't make a difference, actually. Bergwin at right mid and Dan James. One of them's going to be on four cam or five cam regardless. Uh, so it makes absolutely no difference. I would say, for this team, though, there's got to be a better option at that left mid spot. I mean, you, where are you playing Bergwin? Yeah, you're playing him at camp. I mean, not a, this wouldn't be a bad shout, in my opinion. Working towards this card if you can't already afford him. I don't know actually how much this card is these days. 238k and you've got 150k. I would say it wouldn't be the worst shout in the world to put Bergwin as your right mid spot, flip uh, Fred and Lucas, and then get this card where you can afford him uh, at left mid. He obviously gets the orange link to Teixeira and to Hernandez and obviously to Fred, who will be at left mid. Um, and then, obviously, you're playing him at camp. His finishing lets him down. His finishing does let him down. That that I will give you that. I have got this card in the club. I've used him quite a bit. Uh, his finishing does let him down. However, as a cam, he's incredible on the ball. He's really, really quick. He's got the five-star, five-star, which is actually a big bonus. Uh, I'd give him a go if I were you. I'd give him a go at cam. I think he'd work really, really well as a wide cam. The next team coming from Anarchy Sadken. He says, hi, hey, we're going to play this after I complete the para. I've got about 70k right now, but I can say you keep the great work. If you're not already halfway through a para, just wait until the top's pack tonight and to see if you can get a para in that because you might get lucky. Uh, there's probably no point in completing the whole SBC uh, just beforehand, um, providing, obviously, you haven't completed any of it yet. If you've already started completing it, then don't take that advice. Uh, I like this team, though. I like the team a lot. The The right side looks really cool. Um, different. Uh, I think it's uh, de definitely a different setup. Uh, in fact, using a lot of players that I don't see often, to be fair. You know, I don't see a lot of people using Roberto Carlos's. I don't see a lot of people using that Jao Pedro card. That looks insane, by the way, that Brazilian. Um, I, don't, I don't even know who that is at a striker. Um, this looks like a very interesting team. I like it. It's different. It's new. Uh, it's fresh. I like the uh, the refreshing feel. Something, sometimes, sorry, on this uh, on this series, I feel like I see the same team over and over again. Just the, the Mbappes, the Ben Yedders, the Neymars. Um, and, and, and for example, the, the I see a lot of Griezmanns and, and Varane and Ramos at the back, stuff like that. I feel like we see a lot of those, so it's nice to see different teams. Now, obviously, I understand why we see a lot of those. The meta this year supports those kind of players, and I'm not berating anyone for using those players. I've got team of season Mbappe and team of season Ben Yedda in my team, you know? Obviously, it's because I packed them, untradeable. Uh, I haven't used them all year. I have not used Mbappe or Ben Yedda all year. This is the first time I'm actually, actually going to play a weekend league with Mbappe and Ben Yedda. Um, but I understand why people use them. They are incredibly meta, and obviously help you win games i just feel like we see a lot of them uh so it's nice to see a refreshing team really i like i like seeing a refreshing team as for upgrades honestly wouldn't change anything in this team right now with 70k i would just sort of wait uh wait and hold on to your coins and uh and see what kind of upgrade packs or spcs and stuff like that can get you now the next team uh coming from mike who says hi hey but the first is what i currently start and the second is what i play in game uh, only tradable is Brandt, who I haven't sold yet because it was first owner. I've got 250k for improvements and a lot of cards for SBCs. Um, any ideas for me? Let's check it out. So, this is what you... Okay, first of all, I'm not entirely sure... I mean, I get why you've got a Kocha there to obviously get the link. If you want to get better chemistry here, I would play Dalgleish down at right CDM and then uh, a Kocha at right forward at striker. That way, a Kocha gets 7 chem. Um, and it doesn't really affect you, to be honest. It's, it's the same either way, whether you start 
uh, a Kocha at striker or Dalglish at striker. It doesn't make a difference, really. It just helps you get an extra three chemistry um, and will push your team over 100 chem. This is a very, very strange team, though, for me. Um, a Kocha at CDM, there's literally no point, in my opinion. Um, you've also got Foot Birthday Hazard that you're... Like, this team, for me, I think you can work this team out way better by just starting a different formation. Maybe you start a 4-4-2, and you go with um, Dalglish and Ndidi as your two centre mids. Akotra is your right mid. Uh, Philippe Anderson is your left mid. Hazard and, and Mariano is your two strikers as well. That would work, I think. Um, or you can try... If you guys have any other suggestions for him, let me know in the comments down below. I'm, just, I'm, I'm very confused because you have some great players. However, this is just a very confusing setup, really, for me. Um... I know there's going to be some way that you can play a different formation and get most players in on chemistry. There's no point starting Hazard on the bench. There really isn't. Play, bring a player off uh, off the bench. I'm pretty sure they, start, they, they come off the bench at five chemistry, which means they have no boost from the chem style. And wasting a pause and wasting a sub like that is just, it's pointless in my opinion. Um, playing a Kocha at CDM is just, you're asking to concede five goals a game, uh, especially when he's starting on four chemistry as well. Uh, if that, he might even be on three chemistry. Um, I definitely know there's a way you can start this all on full chem. Maybe have a fiddle with it yourself. Uh, check the comments, see what they think. Um, and, uh, and we'll see sort of what happens there. Because even starting a 4-3-3 flat, I think, would get a Kocha on more chemistry. But obviously, the link uh, with NDD. Yeah, this is a tough one. I know there's definitely a way to get more chemistry. Um, as for actual upgrades in the team, a Kocha's got to go. A Kocha has got to go straight away. Uh, I also think that... Um, Mariano is probably not the best at cam. I would actually put Mariano at striker and Hazard at cam there. Um, but apart from that, I mean, the team is really good. I mean, you've been very, very lucky in your packs to get prime Dow Gleesh and tradable, prime Hazard. Sorry, for birthday Hazard and tradable. You've got some great team of seasons in there and tradable as well. I think you've done very well in your packs for sure. Uh, the next one coming from Jay Honsi, who says, Hi, Ryan. The tradables are Nabri and Soma. The rest are untradable. I've got 200,000 coins for improvements. I wouldn't mind making a few adjustments. Love your videos. Keep the good work. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Um... Nice team, straight off the bat. Very nice team. Playing a 4 and 2 and 2 now, I respect it. I like how you've got Kimmich and Cruz. I think they probably balanced pretty well together. Uh, Cruz more of a box to box getting forward and Kimmich more getting back. Um, I, I also thought, by the way, and this is something that I will uh, definitely quash right now. Um, Kimmich has high low work rates, and I thought that would be a problem for him at CDM or centre mid. But he's been coming off the bench for me for Vieira in the late uh, games or in the extra time games, and it doesn't make a difference. Makes zero difference. He does not feel like he's on uh, high low at all. He's not always up top. He's not always waiting on the edge of the box to for a shot. He stays in his position. And as long as he's on get back, it doesn't make any difference at all. So Kimmich at CDM, at centre mid with the high low, not a problem in any way whatsoever. The only thing I would say about this team that I don't like is Hummels. Um, now, a lot of people do like Hummels. I know Zwayback loves Hummels. Just not a big fan of him. I did try him out, and I just wasn't a huge fan. I think that going with a foot birthday, uh, Lucas Hernandez, it'd actually be better than Hummels. Um, I know Hummels is way better in in, in defending and physical. I, I totally understand that, and I totally, you know, I agree with it as well. Uh, this card, however, in my opinion, is just a little bit better. He's better on the ball. He's, he's better in terms of he's a bit more nimble, a bit better at turning. Um, and I think that with the better pace as well, you'll find that you won't be caught out as much with fast uh, strikers as you would maybe with Hummels. Um, apart from that, though, I think the rest of the team is great. I think it's a really cool team. I like it a lot, definitely. Uh, the next one coming from River, who says, uh, just looking for a rating out of 10 of my team uh, compared to when you reviewed it last. I had Kaka at CDM, if you remember. The first is my team now, and the second is how I'm playing game. I sold all of my tradables and bought Vendel, just like you suggested. Thank you. I do remember it, yeah. Let's check it out now and see what we're looking at now. Okay, so in-game, we're playing this now. I respect it. It's, it's definitely an improvement, in my opinion. Um, rating out of 10. I would give this team a solid, uh, I'd say 7.8 out of 10. I know it's really random. I think that the same thing with Hummels, like I just said last time. I know he's got a shadow on, which will obviously improve his, uh, his pace and stuff. But I think it's the same thing as I said last time. I think your your strikers, perfectly meta, perfectly usable, good cam. Uh, your midfield is a little bit too attacking for my liking. I like to have one more defensive and one more box to box. Um, so maybe uh, going with, for example... I don't know really. Who can you go with here that would improve it? Maybe saving up towards a Tots Kimmich or something uh, and then playing him as opposed to Bellarabi. It'd actually allow you to start as a narrow maybe as well. Uh, wouldn't be the worst shout in the world. Um, I think that your CDM is great and Babu is fantastic. 
Vendel's great. Lamer could be... I mean, Lamer and Vendel both could be improved, but I don't think it's a massive massive deal, really. I think they're both decent decent players in their retrospective positions. Uh, I think Hummel was definitely needs improving, though, especially when you've got someone like Boateng next to him, who Boateng's great at tackling, very strong, good body type, but he is slow as well, and he feels quite slow in game in comparison to the Mbappes and the Ibanez and stuff like that that you usually face against. So I think you've got a lot of improvements to make, but I don't think it's the worst team in the world. I think you've definitely got the, the foundations of a fantastic team. Uh, the next team coming from Nameless says, hey, Haber, this is my team. I've got Tots Neymar in a gold upgrade. Hang on. Got Tots Neymar in a gold upgrade. But where is Tots Neymar? I have 500k budget. Um, second picks in game. I want to upgrade Gattuso. But don't know how to switch him. I mean, did you mean that you just got Neymar? Okay. Well, if you got Tots Neymar, where is he? Why are you not using him? All right. I need proof. Um, if you did though, GG. I mean, if you, even if you got a normal name on a gold, that's still a GG. Uh, I would say with this team with 500,000 coins, I would probably say, first of all, I'll play uh, Sonnet Striker and Del Piero at Cam, definitely. Son is way, way more suited to a striker. I think he's a little bit clunky in game um, for a Cam. I would also say that potentially Sol Campbell could be upgraded or Gattuso, whichever one you think is worse in game. If it's Gattuso, I'd upgrade him to a Prime Petit or a, a save up for a mid Vieira. If it's Sol Campbell, I'd upgrade him to either a mid Maldini or a mid Blanc or a Prime Desai or something like that. Um, but yeah, the rest of the team is really, really nice. Uh, and the last one, or the last two, sorry, because I've, I've already shown this bottom one as well. The last two are going to be from Don't Get Don't Get It, uh, who I, I know you from Twitch. And he says, I am Don't Get It from Twitch. I do know you from Twitch. Uh, the second is in game. The trade was are uh, Ian Wright, Wambataka, Cannavaro, Giovinco, uh, with about 100k to spend. My main thought right now is to get Stoichkov for Ian Wright. Love the vids. Yeah, getting rid of Ian Wright is a big, big improvement in the team, in my opinion. You need to get rid of that card. Ian Wright, I think, is terrible. I think he's one of the worst icons in the whole game. Um, I just don't know why. I just don't like the card. He, I just don't get along with him. Uh, Stoichkov's not a bad shout. Uh, I do like Stoichkov. His three-star weak foot lets him down a little bit. Uh, but I do like Stoichkov. Um, the rest seems solid, though, honestly. I mean, apart from just upgrading players to their tots and, and, and primes and stuff, for example, eventually upgrading Cannavaro to his prime, upgrading Alfonso Davies to his tots, uh, upgrading Mane to his tots eventually, maybe upgrading Bernardo Silva to a better right wing. You could even try like a Tots Hulk. I know that he's clunky. Um, and he's probably a bit too clunky for central cam. So you might have to play him out wide. But Tots Hulk, he's got so much strength and great shooting. Um, and I enjoy that sometimes. So maybe changing it up might be a good shout. But I mean, it's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, Ian Wright has got to go. And the last one is going to be from What's the Matter, who says, uh, I've got 250k right now. Everyone is untradeable other than Odegaard. I want to upgrade Fred, but I'm not sure who to. The first pick is how I start, and the second is in game. Hope you well. Stay safe and love the content. And you too, man. Much love, dude. Um, well, you're just looking for a Prem CDM here, really. I would say, oh, wait, you played Fred at Cam? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so you're playing him at Cam. Who would you upgrade to? Good question. Let's have a look at Prem cams real quick and see what we're looking at here. Um, I know that, for example, there's there's a few different options already at the top of my head. Um, first couple of options I'm thinking straight away. Uh, obviously, there's uh, there's there's James Madison. Now, he, he's got a... I think it's a headliners card. It's not the worst in the world. Uh, but I don't think you're here to get an upgrade of James Madison in your team. You can go with a Brazilian or a... a I mean, play a Brazilian off chem. Hmm. I'm not sure, really. Who would I go for? You could you could maybe... Oh, hang on. You could save up a little bit and get this card, this Alex Teixeira card, because he's really, really nimble in game and play really well as a wide cam. Um, it's completely your how you play the game, though, to be honest, uh, whether you go with a Brazilian or whether you go with a Premier League player. But obviously, you're just looking at cams, really, and I think you already know that. So just kind of look for a cam that fits the way you play. Uh, luckily, you've got two icons around him. So as long as he's either Brazilian or for the Prem, you don't have to worry about chemistry. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for submitting your teams. I've got crazy hay fever right now. So apologies if my eyes are red or, or anything like that. I've been rubbing my eyes a lot and stuff like that. So I do apologize for that. But thank you all for watching and, uh, and supporting the channel. Uh, much love, everyone. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you lads later.